Hello everybody, this is John. And this is Claire. And today we're going over an article called Chess for Peace. Hmm. Yeah. Peace. And it's chess with two S's. I'm not just mispronouncing chess. Correct. Okay. Anyways, so this is pretty explanatory. It's chess and peace put together. But where, when, why is going to be in the whole article. I'm not going to spoil that part. But I do have a couple hints. Okay. One we already know. Do you know how to play chess? <laughs> I, I know the rules of chess. Okay. I know how the pieces move. Okay. I have played chess a few mm -hmm. times, but uh, again, uh, can I play chess in the sense of do I know any strategy or how to be good in any way? No, absolutely not. You're not a Queen's Gambit person. I unfortunately am not. Yeah. Much to my dis disappointment. Yeah. Well, is it though? Well, yeah, I think when I was young, you know, mm -hmm. I remember my dad teaching me the rules and then him trying to, you know, be mm -hmm. like, so you have to think these many moves ahead. Mm -hmm. So if you move this one here, you've got to think about and all of this stuff that he would explain. And I was like, <laughs> I can't get my head around even one move ahead and yeah. all the possibilities. So it made me feel yeah. dumb. I wanted to be that smart. Yeah. Yeah. Chess always made me feel really dumb. Yeah, so that's why I would play it like on my own, maybe against an easy computer. Uh, <laughs> but mm -hmm. with it, when it came to people, I always felt so like, oh, you don't think seven steps ahead? Right? <laughs> I think he, there. <laughs> that's my thought. One step. <laughs> Continue, <ahead>. please. <laughs> <laughs> um, here's another hint, though. Mm -hmm. Which countries in Africa do you know by name? <sighs> okay, this feels like school. Some kind mm -hmm. of school test. Uh, Angola. Congo, Cameroon, um, uh, Nigeria, Ghana, uh, South Africa, Zimbabwe, Rwanda, Tunisia, Algeria, Morocco, Cote d'Ivoire, Mozambique, Sudan, Somalia, and Somaliland. Remember, Ooh, remember last month? But it's not a real country yet, so. <laughs> uh, but I'm counting it. Okay. Uh, okay. Um, uh, okay, that's it. I okay. can't think of any more. All right. Well, that's way better. Egypt. Egypt. Oh, <laughs> Everyone Egypt. forgets Egypt. Egypt. It's like the only one I know. So, you, uh -huh. you, how many did I forgot to count? I think that was uh, that was sixteen. I think. Okay. Yeah, that was pretty good. That's a that's about. Mm, I would probably say nine more than I could do. Uh huh. Yeah, I was doing this mentally as you were doing it, and I was like, I'm done now. Uh -huh. I was Continue. Trying, I was trying to go <laughs> alphabetically. It was like the, oh, oh and then but then the northern coast. I was thinking mm. geographically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that's nearer to Europe, <laughs> and I'm very Eurocentric, obviously. <laughs> so. Yeah. Mm. Anyways, wow. Sorry to any African mm. nations I forgot. Mm. Oh, Uganda. Mm -hmm. How Djibouti. Djibouti, that's the <laughs> cutest name. That's the cute, cute. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but yeah. There's so many. Well, more. what we're going to do is we're going to check out the rest of them while you guys check out the entire article uh -huh. or just read the summary if you don't have time. And we'll find out what chess, peace, and Africa have to do with each other. Chess for Peace. The Democratic Republic of Congo has suffered civil war, food shortages, and disease. Among other things, these conditions can damage children's mental well-being. Volunteers have been teaching refugee children in DRC how to play chess, giving them an enjoyable and mentally stimulating activity that can channel their attention and energy in a positive way. It is hoped that by playing chess, the children will become less impulsive and more focused, creating a mindset that will contribute to a peaceful society.